Okay, here's what I did. I put some primer paint in the spots that's needed and some that's not. But, um, yeah, I'm going to let that dry. See if I'm missing something. I'll figure it out. All right. Till next time. Oh, I cleaned it up. Multiple layers of primer here, there, where it was worn down. I caulked up these holes just because these holes here. I think I caulked up too many because um, we need some for these. But I'm not sure what uh, holes did, so I caulked them all up and I'll just make more uh, where I need them. But yeah, all clean, all white, all primered. Cleaned, wiped down, got some footsteps, I need to wipe that down, but I'm going to throw the mat down. Okay, so kind of funny, I I threw it all in, I just sat it in place and I kind of leaned forward and I was like, oh, where's this going to go? Oh, oh, okay, well I guess that's where it goes then. You just push right through it. Well that one's giving me a little more trouble than the other one. But, and then you just, boom, right there. Pops right through. Okay, well. Our mat's in, I just gotta tape it down. <laughs> I'd make some cuts over here, some relief cuts maybe here, because I want the uh, other stuff to sit flat. But yeah, I didn't even, Lucky was in the right place. There's a little piece that's cut out for this, and I'll put it there. Kind of trippy. I didn't know you could just push right through it. It looked a lot stronger than that. Okay, so. I've made some relief cuts here, 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 just so those dip down. And while this thing may be lacking in the air conditioning department, it's definitely not lacking in the heater department. So I'm going to run this thing, get it really warm in here, and uh, before I tape it and see if that helps with anything. Not sure if it will or not, but can't be any worse. I just want to get these like down in the crevices as much as I can I think it might be a little too much this way I could have fudged a little more that way but it is what it is once I poked through leaned over and poked through one of those holes I was like okay well that's it guess that's where it's going but it's okay like I said it is what it is all right, get back. Okay, so I've had this thing going for about 45 minutes. I cannot believe how f much more flexible it is. I think if this was warmer, it wouldn't have poked through like this. But look at, I mean, it's like not ripping. It's, it's like stretching. It's weird. But I'm going to get this taped in. Maybe some more relief cuts. And, uh... Then I'm, we're going to put on the, the insulation. All right. Check back in with you later. Got it all taped in. I, um, <clears throat> it's just temporary, guys. I mean, shoot. Let's just to hold it down until we put the other things in place. These are the miscellaneous screws from underneath. Um, I also screwed this thing back in, the runner. Um, there are the few wires. I took a few wires out. Those, I don't know what they went to. I don't know what these are for, but I can use them probably later, maybe. I don't know if they're big enough, but I know they went to this, which was the CB. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just going to go for the uh, insulation now, see what happened. Took all this, just going to tuck my shoe in and uh, hope that works. I don't know. It's deadener. I don't know what else, how pretty it's supposed to look, but. It contours great once you get it warm. Um, it was a little stiffer before and it was stretching and ripping, but it was just ripping before it was stretching, but now it's stretched. It's pretty good. All right, there you go. Yeah, before it, it gets too dark, I just want to record this. So I taped everything in. And by the way, this Gorilla Tape is beastly. I'm pretty sure I went through three layers of skin putting this stuff on. But I just taped it in a few places. Um, easy lays out. Cutting these things is kind of a pain in the ass. 
by the time I got here, I figured out I need a little more love. But by the time I got here, I think I gave too much love. Um, but as long as it doesn't cut, get caught up when I screw it in, it's flexible. I just know it's going to sound, just even sitting in here sounds so much better talking. No echo, no tin. Um, very absorbent. Can't wait to get the carpet in. I might have to do it tomorrow. I'll throw it in here now. But I want to make sure I get all the cuts pretty for it. All right. I'll be back. Okay. Well, let's see how dark it is. So, yes, definitely going to record this tomorrow. Going to finish this tomorrow. Um, so, going to need some trimming. It's already wrinkling here. I was trying to slide it into place. This needs to be, this needs to be up here where my foot rubs it when you go back and forth. This needs to be up here so it doesn't wear another hole in it. And then of course this needs a lot of trimming. I think I'm gonna go far, far right. That's barely, oh my gosh, I need to concentrate on the camera, not the, the light. So that's barely hitting over there where this is overlapping a good six inches. So yeah, I'll figure, I'm gonna let it sit in the house overnight and uh, find center, fold it in half, find center and go from there. But that definitely needs to be more up here. So I'm thinking going that way and forward, which is going to need a relief cut up here. All right, see you okay, tomorrow. Empty living room floor means da 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 da. The carpet's in, but it's not installed. Got it warmed up, keeping warm in here. Got the heater on. But bam, got it laid out. Stretched out, going to warm it up, contoured everything before I start cutting stuff. Nibbling away. I'm not going to say cut. I'm going to nibble away up here. Here especially because that's where it's hidden. Pedals. And then up there. I'm thinking I'm just going to tuck it in. Just going to tuck it in. Just going to tuck it in. Go all the way up if I can. Um, there's a lot of play back here. But the key is right here. You want to be with your foot rubbing on this instead of the carpet so and your feet heels on here instead of on the carpet so that's the main thing and then centered so yeah I'm gonna nibble away at it and I'll get back to you Word. not many scraps but I'm cutting a little bit nibbling away up here in the corners Steering column's next, because it just hit the steering column. Pedal was the first, and the heater box, heater core underneath. Uh, haven't trimmed anything of them over there yet. Haven't had to, uh, aside from the heater core that goes out about four inches. Another thing I'm doing is, I've tucked all this in, in the corner, so I can see, make sure I'm not cutting too much from one side. So that if this stays level, that means we're cutting about even. You can see it's a little uneven over there, so I'm gonna tuck that more, make this more even, put that down, and see if I have to trim from over here yet. I'm trying to get in the habit of when I point my finger, move it over here to move the camera as well. So you guys can see everything. Um, it's starting to cool off, so I might run the truck a little more and warm it back up. I got the heat blowing on the floor, so what I'm concerned with is the tunnel and everything contouring because when you tuck this this over here pulls in an inch or two so the last thing I want to do is like cut this over here and then figure out that I should have tucked that first so I want to keep it warm on the middle um, I don't know if that makes a huge difference but you can always just push it down, but you can still see the huge crease in the middle. I don't like that. I don't like all the wrinkles, because wrinkles make it shorter. Over there, 
the wrinkles right where I need to cut it about ish but again I need to tuck that in more make it look better be back oh yeah again see we're a lot closer here I want the back uh, I want this area like an inch of the pad to be even with the pedal so when your foot's sitting there resting even at idle you're not rubbing the carpet you're rubbing the plastic and then when you give it throttle which i hardly ever give it full throttle then that way you're not rubbing it and this should be right below where your feet your heels rest on it so yeah i'm thinking about four more inches is what i'm thinking but i'll get there soon all right you can see my dirty ass feet in here but um getting closer i'm thinking about another inch i sat in here i used the assistance of my bucket seat um so i could get a better angle it's a little tall but it's better than sitting on the floor um but yeah cut a little low here you can see the white i don't want to see the white uh, but up there it's all tucked in all nice um it's a lot harder to work when it's cold so i think once i get the distance in all the way in and this is even back here I'm gonna warm it up nice and hot let it run for about 45 minutes blowing the heater in here and then I'm gonna contour this because it's cool when you pound on it it tucks into place pretty well so it gets in that crevice but it's cold so it keeps popping back I think when it's warm it'll it'll stay more hopefully that crease continues to fall out and then we'll trim the sides there's a good I want to say that much, whatever that is, um, on this side, and then on this side, I think my neighbors all think I'm weird for talking to myself, and yeah, it's about the same, I'm trying to keep them even, but uh, like I said, as long as this is squared up, I think I'll be happy, and I'm not going to cut the back, I'm going to let it run wild. Um, that way I can run speakers. Maybe, I don't know. Kind of back and forth with the stereo here. I'm too old to be bumping and getting stereo tickets. Remember those? Uh, sound pollution, sound disturbance, disturbing the peace, depending on what city you're in. So yeah, that's where I'm at now. Looks good though. I just wish the wrinkles would come out. It, try to save this job for the summer. I'll be back. So I'm thinking placement wise this this is good placement wise because I'm cruising I'm there if I mash I'm gonna be like this anyway Oop, up. you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna be touching the plastic so brap and touch the brake heels are on the plastic e brakes over here so yeah I think that's good yeah they're going good uh, so I'm going to warm it up, poke the hole in the middle, and then work my way passenger, and then come out driver. I think that's what I'm going to do, but i got to warm this thing up. It's really stiff when it's cold. Alright. Be back. Okay, here we go. Um, poked everything through. Screws, bolts, seat belts, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't like it. Um, hello, wrinkly. Uh, I'm not blaming LMC, I think it's my fault. Maybe I didn't tuck the padding enough, the insulation, the sound deadener, whatever, but nothing is going flat. Uh, granted, I do have to cut out everything for the side, stretch it out, maybe it'll settle. Uh, hopefully it will because I'm not replacing it. I'm going to cut everything, trim. So I'm going to vacuum everything out, get all the trimmings, clean it up, throw the seats in, and then uh, clean up all the trim and see how it comes out. But that's it. Hopefully the wrinkles come out. Okay, so here we go. Um, installed chair brown again, guys. <laughs> I looked at the picture, looked gray. Um, at, I bought it at night. 
I noticed this wasn't that bad, but I thought it was gray. And it is gray until you put it next to something gray and then it's brown. <sighs> but I bought it at night. I couldn't see. Not his fault. Not the guy's fault. He, I didn't even ask what color it was. I never even asked. But anyway, um, yes, installed. Cleaned these up. Painted these. These and these are cleaned up and drying. Sidekick panel and then the back panel. Um, installed. Dirty feet. Already been testing it. A lot of work to be done. Replacement piece. Replacement piece. Um, see, so uh, broken piece needs fixed. So you can see the brown. Look, it's gray. Until you put it next to something gray, then it's brown. Um, yeah, broken this. Need that repaired. Uh, this is a close, close gray. A little lighter, but I think I'm going with it anyway. I like it. But clean it up um, and paint it. So I'm going for a ride all over the valley today. Hopefully warm this carpet up, get the wrinkles out a little bit. And listen to the sound. I hope it's a lot different because it was really loud and tangy. Hopefully it's quiet. I can hear myself talk and talk on a speakerphone if I need to. But yeah, need this. Uh, need new speaker grills. Um, crack dash. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I think I'll just fix it. It's not that bad. A little sanding. A little bondage. And some paint. And I'll be good. Steering wheel. I think steering wheel is going to be next because that's the cheapest. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's here. But yeah. Get back to you guys. So on the highway. Totally tell. Ten times better. Uh, it's still noisy. Still ten times better. Uh, but you can hear it coming from the doors. Actually. And uh, not the floor. Okay. Here it is. Plastics all painted, cleaned up, painted, both sides installed, kick panels in the back piece. But I'm going to replace them because they're cracking. Uh, and I need to clean that up, paint that. This is where you see the difference between gray, gray, dirty ass, seatbelt gray, brown. And dirty ass seatbelt gray. Holding the seat down. Oh yeah, so. <sighs> catastrophic. This thing stripped out. So now I gotta replace it. Um, blah. It is so irritating. So I'm gonna have to pull everything out anyway. So I'm gonna redo a lot of stuff anyway. I'm gonna replace these. I had to paint them. But I had to replace, I'm going to replace these. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of cleanup. But uh, again, I need to do a headliner, ugly back, debating speakers. And that's just the beginning for this truck. So follow along. Grills, interior. I got 22s and 20s. They're in the back back there. Staggered. Bond speed. Um, grill. I think I'm just going to clean this one up for now. Do the body work. Um, clean this thing up. Paint it. And that's it. Use my little workhorse. 180,000 miles. Running like a champ. Drive it back and forth to California. My little cruiser. Work cruiser.